17 from Akron, Ohio, the youngest member of the United States team. He won the National Sports Festival Championship at 112 pounds, but he'll be fighting here at 119. In the Sports Festival, he took on a good one. The reigning World Amateur Champion, Steve McCrory, and the quickness of young Hickman paid off. It was a battle in Colorado Springs, but Todd Hickman won a decision over Steve McCrory, the most important bout of his life. But he couldn't keep the weight down to 112. He's had to go to 119 to the bantamweight ranks now. Will the move to 119 affect your style at all? No, it won't affect my style that much. I'm a lot stronger at 119 because I'm not losing the weight to go down to 112. The only thing you see different is that I'm punching harder. You still move the same as you always did? Still move the same, just as fast. His opponent is Paul Fitzgerald from Wicklow, Ireland. He is a southpaw, the reigning Irish champion, a 21-year-old who is 1-1 and lost two against the United States boxers previously. Round one, this will be an interesting international test for Todd Hickman. He has not had that many international bouts. The fact that the Irishman is a southpaw may tend to confuse him in the early going here. When Fitzgerald's not boxing, he is the manager of the Yankee Doodle Restaurant in Wicklow, Ireland. And he's got a tough Yankee on his hands here in young Todd Hickman. Hickman, down he goes as he threw the right. He was caught by Fitzgerald. And he will take the count sitting on the canvas. Says he's all right looking up to the referee now, Saparaz of Los Angeles. And he will continue, but Todd Hickman, unprepared for the southpaw style perhaps of Paul Fitzgerald, got stung early. What a surprise this is as Hickman was certainly favored against the Irish boxer coming in with his quickness. But it was the quickness of Paul Fitzgerald that caught Hickman. Fitzgerald looked to be a little wary of him, backing away until he unloaded that blow that dropped Hickman so suddenly. But Todd looks all right now, coming after his Irish opponent, trying to pin him in that corner, but Fitzgerald back to the center of the ring. Question, Hickman is one of the shining young prospects for the 84 Olympic team. And he stung Fitzgerald with a left, followed by the right. Fitzgerald is now sitting down on the canvas. They've each been down once. Fitzgerald trying to shake it off, getting to his feet, so it's 1-1 in knockdowns in this bantamweight bout. Second count, Zafaraz looking very carefully now at the Irish boxer, letting him get up. Will he let him continue? Yes, he will. Todd Hickman has taken him down twice. One more, of course, means the stoppage of the bout. If Hickman can nail him again. But Fitzgerald has hardly had time to clear his head and catch his breath. Hickman on the attack again. Fitzgerald retreating, swinging wildly. Hickman following through with the right hand. Measuring him now. He knows he's got him in trouble. Halfway into the first round, and Todd Hickman is all over Paul Fitzgerald. It's a caution from the referee. Fitzgerald trying to weather this storm from Hickman and get out of round one. He's got well over a minute left, however. Blood now coming from the mouth of the Irish boxer. Referee encouraging Fitzgerald to fight. He was covering up in the corner in a passive position, and he's been retreating and covering up ever since the second quick knockdown from Todd Hickman. So Hickman, stunned by the early knockdown he sustained, has bounced up to take the action to Paul Fitzgerald and maul him here in this first round. Sakharaz, the referee, has seen him up, and rightly so, because Fitzgerald was strictly limited to a defensive position as Todd Hickman took it to him. Referee stops the contest here in round one, the third win for the United States. Hickman the referee over is Fitzgerald. The thing about each thing at all. But it wasn't all that easy in the early seconds for Todd Hickman. He was the aggressor, but as he threw his right, he got caught by the right hand of Fitzgerald, and Todd Hickman went spinning down to the canvas, an early shocker. He was down for the full count of eight. Referee Saparaz coming in to make sure that Todd Hickman was all right from that blow thrown by Paul Fitzgerald from Wicklow. But off the canvas he came. 
he made Fitzgerald pay with a stinging left hand. Delayed reaction, but down went the Irish boxer for the first knockdown he sustained. Then with Fitzgerald unable to clear his head, the referee allowing the action to continue, Hickman came lunging out and met him with a first right-hand blow that sent him down the second time. Safras finally stopped the contest. Hickman wins it in round one. I guess he got your attention when he stung you over in the corner there. What happened? Oh, yeah. I was going after him, and then I hadn't realized he was southpaw. Then he threw a wild left hand, caught me. I went down. You weren't looking for that? Oh, no. <laughs> so then he got on your racehorse and chased him around the ring the rest yeah, of the way. Yeah, I got up. I was all right. I was shaky for like three seconds after I got up. And I went out there, and he hit me again, and it woke me up. <laughs> and then I went after him, and I caught him, knocked him down, and got him again. And I was figured that the time was running out, and he was hitting hard, so I didn't want to go in the second round, so I went after him. That's why I was chasing. I got him. Well, you were, you were running well enough and moving well enough. I mean, uh, 119 looked to be okay for you. Oh, yeah, I feel real good and strong at 119. All right, Todd. Well, congratulations, and keep it going. All right, thank you. So the United States 